I was playing hockey, I think, three years until I was 14. And I really, really wanted to go to the big event and, of course, the Olympics. So the chance to go to the camp with the speed skating team came and I just took it. And that was when I was 14 and 17 years old, I went to the first Olympic Games. Yeah, they kept me because I was getting better and better very fast. The boots are lower. They're actually not higher than above your ankles, so that was hard. Also, the blades are just like way longer in speed skating, so it, it was tough. It was tough. Also, you can say the training is quite different. So it was 2018 after the Olympics in the summer. I have to say I didn't quite look for the hockey, but like hockey really called me back because I was approached by a hockey coach and the manager who asked me if I could maybe help a few players with the skating. So I was like, okay, let's do that. But of course I had to get the skates, the gloves, the stick. And from that hill, I was like in love all over again. So there was no way back. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to play with like old guys in my hometown. And then I started to look for the team. There was no way back. Because in speed skating, if you have a body contact, it means someone is falling and it's gonna get ugly because we go very fast. Here, it's pretty much normal, normal every shift thing. Turning right is, uh, it was hard. It's not uh, anymore, but all the changes of direction are pretty much tough. I was uh, with the team uh, for the qualification for the Olympics that I would say was my first like truly real tournament. Now it's really better. I feel good in a team. Oh, I mean the fun. We have this like Czech mentality, like we turn everything into fun. Like we don't really stay very long time in some sorrow. We just like, we always come with that new energy when we have some like downhill, we just like back it up and it just goes. I would say the community is like number one thing, really. Uh, you see more coaches. I see now the women players becoming coaches. For me, that is amazing. When I see it in the NHL, the women in hockey are getting uh, important positions in a team. For us, we have a first time female head coach. That has been truly amazing experience to see someone like that working with a team. So I think we need to also stay in a, in a sport after the career. That has helped me so much and I believe it can also help the other generations. All right, so you've won Olympic bronze, now you've won Women's World bronze. Which is better? I don't know, both are great, but to share that with this group is just amazing. I mean, we really believe we can go high this year and I'm so happy that I can be this and share this because that is not, not like it was in speed skating, it's a really new experience. I hope my story is gonna like leave something behind, truly. Czech Republic is a really small country, so I think people know my story. They, they watch it and uh, I just I hope I inspire some of them. That would be great. <laughs>